In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with geometric distributions. Example A. Consider the coin game where the game ends once someone flips tails. What is the probability that the game, game ends on the third flip? So this question is really asking, what's the probability that it will take three coin flips before you get tails? So in other words, what's the probability that you will get heads and then heads and then tails? So you'll fail twice and then succeed on the third try. So this is a geometric distribution type of problem because of what it's asking. It's asking what's the probability that it will take a certain number of trials before success. So what we want to think about is the probability that it will take three trials before success. So that equals the probability of failure, which in this case is flipping tails, which is a probability of one half, raised to the power of how many failures we want. And if we're going to get three trials before success, which I really mean success on the third trial, that means that I'm gonna raise this to the second power and then multiply by the probability of success because on that third trial, we are going to succeed and get tails and the probability of tails is one half. So we multiply this out and we get our answer, which is 0.125. So the probability that the game ends on the third flip is 0.125. Suppose a copy machine consistently has a 5% chance of breaking on any given day. Although it might work for many days in a row, it will inevitably break down. What is the probability that it lasts a whole five day work week and breaks down on the sixth day? So we're looking for the probability that it will take six days before it breaks down. So the probability of six days being how long it takes for what we would call success, which in this case is the copier breaking down. So in this case, the probability of success, which is the copier breaking down, is 5%, so 0.05. Therefore, the probability that it doesn't break down is 0.95. Remember that these two numbers always have to add to one because the copier will either break down or it won't. And those are the only two options, so the probability together has to be 100% for those two combined. So the probability that it will be fine for five days and then on the sixth day break down would be this. We take 0.05, the probability of failure, and raise that to the fifth power. Oops, that should be 0.95, that was the probability of failure, which in this case is the copier not breaking down. So it doesn't break down for five days, that's 0.95 to the fifth power. And multiply that by the probability of success, which is when it breaks down. And that is 0.05. And that happens on the sixth day. So we have five days in a row where the probability of it being fine is 0.95. And then on the sixth day, it breaks down. When we multiply all this out, we get our answer, which is 0 0.039. So that means that the probability of it breaking down on the sixth day for the first time is 3.9%. So again, this problem is a little tricky because success and failure doesn't quite mean what it seems like it would. You would think success is the copy you're working, but in the context of this problem, we're looking for the probability that the sixth day is when it breaks down. So the probability or success, the thing happening on the sixth day, our success is it breaking down and it working is the failure. It hasn't broken down yet.